we are on a brand new Yellowfin. We got Wiley over here from Yellowfin. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, absolute monster here. What have you guys done, Wiley? Well, you know, it's been a project for the last uh, about two years. Um, we were thinking about doing a big boat about four years ago, and we decided to put it on hold. Um, our customers kept pushing us, you know, to do a big boat, so this is what we came up with. Let me tell you, I walked and I'm walking, looking to take pictures of boats, and all of a sudden I, I stumble across this yellowfin. I'm like, dude, this thing is a monster. This, this is not the traditional. How big is this boat? Yeah, it's 54 feet. It's got a 15 foot beam, uh, holds 900 gallons of gas, uh, tops out over 60 mile an hour, full of fuel. Uh, it'll do anything and everything you want to do. Uh, it stays true to the yellowfin roots. It's a fish boat first with a, quite a bit of amenities. We have a full cabin, queen bunk. Uh, area, you know, uh, kitchenette, bathroom. So we have a full salon cabin in the bottom, uh, but outside the boat on the top end is still true to the elephant uh, fishing guys. Can we walk some of the areas so you can show yeah, my we'll subscribers? Let's 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 start at the bow, guys. The brand new. Oh my goodness, there's so much to see. So Wiley, you said that you're. I mean, you guys have a really loyal following, um, and you're saying that your following said, "Listen, we want." Uh, something bigger. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we our 42 is, is pretty well known within the industry and in the fishing community. Um, you know, some of those guys just want a bigger boat. Um, I think the the sport fish world is shrinking a little bit in, the, in that you know 45 to 55 range. And people they can get the performance out of a big center console, less maintenance. You know, better cruise speeds, better fuel economy. Are starting to look at these style of boats. So let's walk from, from, the, from, from let's start off from, from the anchor locker all the way back and you can maybe describe some of the features so somebody who might be interested in this size boat we can you sure. know have an option. So you know at the front pop-up cleats, um, anchor locker, we, we, a drum windlass is, is standard in the boat. Um, we actually on this model uh, designed the forward seating as a built-in but we left the center open so when you're fighting a fish you can still get around the nose pretty quickly without uh, interfering with the forward seating. Uh, there's a massive uh, insulated fish box here, dry box. You can use you know it for anything and everything you want to put in there. Um, you know salon seating up top. Um, there's tackle, coolers. So, you know, so we do drink coolers up here in the front. Um, everything is insulated in the boat, so we can do, uh, you know, you put drinks really anywhere in any box. Why do you, it looks really comfortable back here. I mean, you, this, this doesn't traditionally look like, per se, a fishing boat, right? Like, you, you could bring a, a woman that doesn't know anything about boating or fishing or anything like that. She's going to say, I like this boat. They're, they're not going to know this is completely designed for people who really like to fish. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're trying to make that crossover boat. Um, you know, we try to stay true to that fishing community, but we also can handle, uh, you know, the entertainment value. Uh, you know, what we call the wine and cheese crowd. So tell me a little bit about the rails and, and all these details. I mean, all my subscribers, uh, you know, they mean, look at all this stuff. Every boat, you should have handrails going around the side of it. You know, just if you're in big water, which this boat obviously can run in, you know, if you're fishing in big water, if you're, you're, you're managing from back, you know, from the front of the boat to the back of the boat and vice versa, you just have something that if you need to grab something quickly, you can. Um, so we kind of designed that all into the boat. Um, as we work our way back, we get into the cabin area. Um, again, it's a, got a full queen. Yeah, I'll let you go yeah, down there. Yeah, let me walk um, in there. And you could just describe it. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, wow, this is huge. Yeah, so you have a full queen bed in the front. Um, if you open up the door to the right of you, there's going to be a shower and head and toilet. I would have and never then, thought it was this big in here. The table will go down and turn into another double if somebody wants to rack out their kids. With the touch of a button. With the touch of a button. Look at that, guys. And that's it. So let me tell you something. I noticed something immediately when I'm in here. 
you can tell that there has been an emphasis on height in here. And I can tell you, I'm assuming that has to do because you're a tall guy. A little bit, but you also want the space to feel not claustrophobic, you know? So as long as we can keep the visual um, heights while you're running the boat, mm -hmm. where we want it, let's have the extra headroom. It just makes the space feel a lot bigger. This is, this is very nice, guys. I wouldn't have expected it to be as big as it is in here. And you have a little fridge in there. So there's built-in dive tank racks on the boat. You can stick five uh, tanks on each side of the gunnel. Uh, they, they tuck up underneath the gunnels. Uh, when you come into the helm area, we designed it where you can put three 24-inch screens. Uh, we try to keep, you know, one thing about our consoles is we keep them really simplistic. Um, everything runs through C zone, so we can everything as a, a fly-by-wire style of system for everything. So we try to keep the dash as clean as possible. Um, I did notice that it's like that less is more feel. Yes, sir. Um, and I think that's what, you know, I think a lot of people like the fact that things are simple, you know? So that sometimes you don't need, you know, all the extra gadgets here yeah. and there. Well, the more stuff you have out in the environment, the, the more stuff that gets damaged, you know, because of people weather, you know, people ding it and knock it down, break it. Um, four release chairs um, are standard on the boat. Uh, there's storage underneath this. So you can put gear, you know, you can store gear, tackle, luggage, whatever you want to do on the bottom. Um, Wally, is there a sea keeper option on something like this? Yeah, we do have a gyro in the boat. Um, the, you know, the, the boat's so, you know, with the beam that it has and, and as big as it is and the way to displace is, um, I don't really see a big need for the gyro personally. Uh, but for people that really have a problem, you know, uh, with seasickness, you know, we can still, we put a gyro in them. How's the visibility when you're driving? Oh, it's, I mean, anybody five, five and above can see over the bow with no problem. Yeah, it's, it's, visibility is fantastic. Is there a lot of space under this area as well here? I see yeah, this our, is- our Ginny is in here, uh, as well as our refrigeration and stuff. Um, there's tackle boxes absolutely throughout the whole boat. So you can actually have tackle at different stations. So like if you're a bottom fisherman, you can have at midship, you can put somebody, you can have all this gear right there with them. Um, the uh, there's a aft fish box that runs beam to beam where you can pull a fish right through the door right into the box which makes it accessible really you know pretty nice um, and i see rod holders for days everywhere yeah you know with some guys you can't have enough right <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the engines it's like how, yeah. put as many as you can fit right yeah so we have refrigeration freezer in the back Underneath the lids, um, you can do grills, you can do sinks, we can do, again, chill boxes, wine coolers, whatever somebody wants. Um, there's, you know, ample room to kind of lay this out. For, for the regular, you know, guys who want a little more entertainment value back here, they can kind of design and put this out however they want. For the guys that are fishing, if you want, you know, uh, a bait rigging, you know, box, you can, you know, do all sorts of different things like that. So this is your aft fish box. Um, it runs actually beam to beam, so it's about eight feet across. So we can sit there and uh, pull a fish right through the door, right into the box. So if you if you like sword fishing or you're catching big wahoos, this makes it easy. And then this is access to your bilge here. Um, again, we, there's ample storage in here for you know cast nets and different things that you may want to throw down there. Stuff that you don't need to get to. Um, and then the last but least is the bay well and, and tuna tubes. Um, here, you know, it's uh, about a 110 gallon well. Um, we can divide it for customers that want to put dividers in to, to separate their baits. Just kind of really depends on what they're doing. I literally was able to put my whole gimbal and camera in there just now. That's crazy. So. So tell me about the power. So you, you, you have quad four, 425s on this uh, new hole number one, right, uh, Wiley? Yeah, yeah, this hole number one. Um, uh, the boaters are set up with, as 235s and 225s in, in, in shaft lengths. Uh, so the 425s are, are the only ones out there right now that have 35 inch motors where you don't have to adapt them. Uh, so we just went with those motors. Um, boat runs incredibly well. We're, uh, Full of fuel, 900 gallons, you know, uh, 100 gallons of water. We're seeing 61 and change, you know, in top end. 
Um, the boat handles like a dream. It's got plenty of power. Uh, accelerates well. Gets on plane effortlessly. What do you think um, with the new 450s? How do you think that'll do with the Mercury? Oh, I, you know, you're just going to pick. You're going to keep picking up top end. Okay. You know, um, that's where you know as as the horsepower goes up, the faster you go. That's awesome. So, what's the build time on these, Wiley? Um, right now we have 12 on order, so we're probably running a little over 20 months. About 20 months. It, uh, is so so you, and you still have other models right so sure. so tell me a little bit about the other models that you guys also have do you have any other models here at the show or is this the only one you guys are showing you no in our booth we have our 24 our 26 32 and 36 uh, we build boats from 17 to 54 feet now um, our kind of our flagship models are our, our 24 Baybo, which is a very popular within the Baybo community and our 36 you know is our has always been our flagship boat uh, for the tournament guys and everything because it's, it's you know the best running boat in the ocean Wally, where, where can they go online to go check out more information or maybe reach out to you and, and find out a little bit more about this product than any other Yellowfin uh, boat? Yeah, just yellowfin.com. It's Yellow simple. There's a link for all the guys at the office as well as, my, as myself, and uh, all the models are on there. Is there a possibility maybe we can do a sea trial at some point on this monster? Uh, yeah, we, you got to come over to Sarasota. All right, guys. Sarasota it is. Uh, Miami to Sarasota. Get that GPS, guys. The brand new, brand new monster here, the Yellowfin. Talk about a beast, guys. So come get it here. If you didn't want to come, at least you saw it here on Alfred Montaner's channel. Buddy, thank you so much, man. That was awesome. Thank you, guys.